Uh, and really, one of the things that really fascinates me about um, you is, is all the, the traveling that you've done and the, the stories that you've seen from around the world. So I don't know, you've got loads to choose from, I'm sure, but are there a couple that particularly resonate with you? Because one of the beauties is that you often take a camera with you when you're out and about, so you can share this with other people as well. I think, funny enough, it's about our third ever interview that we did. We, um, our first stop, because when I wanted to create the three principles movies.com website, which is basically a video resource on the three principles as an understanding, um, so people can watch that for free. So our third ever interview was, was with a lady called um, Marsha, um, and she was one of the people going along to a class in San Jose, California. And she, it's, I mean, you can watch the video, maybe you could put a link to it when, when you post this, Liz. Um, but she said that she tried to commit suicide four times. She was a hardcore heroin addict. She was an alcoholic. She was bulimic. She was labeled as schizoaffective. And you could see the suffering she'd had on her, in her life kind of etched on her face. And she said she came across this understanding um, two years previous, thought rubbish, not interested. Then she came across it again six months before we, we saw her. And something happened. And the, the interview was so powerful because she was getting healthier and healthier and healthier. And you see that no matter what label a person has, no matter what their past had done to them, I don't know what conditioning they'd had in life. Within everybody, there's this core of health and resilience and this spiritual power that is completely unbreakable. You can think it's breakable, but actually it's not. And so you saw this woman just have an insight on the video. She says, when I'm thinking too much, I might get delusional. When I'm thinking too much, I might have a panic attack. But when my thinking slows down, there is no mental illness at all. And like her eyes were popping and I was like, I'm so glad we've got this on video. <laughs> so she's gone on to facilitate this and she's just a really healthy person. I mean, that, that's just one, but I mean, even, you know, we went to work with earthquake survivors after the big earthquake in Nepal. And some of these guys were really, as they would be traumatized by, by the earthquakes. And when I was there, I was involved in lots of aftershakes. So I've got a, a a very watered down, very watered down version of what they experienced. Um, but just hanging out and spending sometimes two hours with these guys and teaching, teaching the three principles as a paradigm, the implications of that. Again, I saw, wow, as the logic of how this work is revealed to people, this natural resilience bubbles up and they're okay. They're okay before that, but they experience the okayness more when they see that. We've been to prisons, you know, and, and prison inmates, and again, I've seen it there. It's like there's literally no population or person I've ever seen that does not have the potential to live a healthy, functioning life. And even some of the, I mean, if you go to the 3pmovies.com website and go to Transformation Stories, and again, this sounds completely unbelievable, so don't take my word for it, look at the testimonial. There's one lady who was so clinically depressed that she could, didn't even have the cognition to cross the road. She had a one hour conversation with a facilitator in London and most of it fell away and she came to like a normal, if there is such a thing, normal level of well-being. So again, I know this sounds unbelievable and too good to be true, but, and it doesn't happen for everybody. I let, just, just to say that you can be suffering, you can come across this and it may not do anything for you. I've seen that as well to a degree. Um, but... <laughs> 
but mostly I found that no matter who you are, where you live, what's happened to you, understand the logic and wisdom of this and you can be living in another world, like another psychological world and it's hopeful and it's inspiring and we're made of stronger stuff than you think. <laughs> and, and I'm kind of curious as well, Rudy, because my understanding is that, you know, people go on the Free Principles Movies website, which is an extraordinary resource, um, I've got to say, is that you're, you're not, or your background wasn't as a, a videographer, a filmmaker, um, is that right? You, you, you kind of developed this or were inspired to record these stories. And so you learned how to, to do all of this. Yeah, well, um, I got really inspired by the understanding because it offered such hope for humanity. But at the time, I mean, goodness, I'm terrible with dates, but I think it was about eight years ago. There was nothing online there wasn't really any websites. There was no kind of proof. And I remember talking about how powerful this was to other people. And they're like, well, okay, let's Google it. You know, there's no research, there's nothing online. And so I thought, well, I'm going to have to create a resource to prove that this is possible. Um, so I basically had to learn how to do video editing and lighting and operating a video camera. And then I had to invest huge sums of money in buying the gear as well, which um, thankfully credit cards helped with that one. Um, and so, again, it's interesting, again, that you don't have to have the necessary skills. If you've got a vision and inspiration to do something, you can do that. You can just learn. You know, you're not stuck with what you know because we have the potential to learn. <laughs> so I, I learned videography um, and I'm so pleased that I did because the site has been so helpful for so many people. And if I believe the first thought, first couple of thoughts, I can't afford it. I don't know videography. That will never work. Do you know how we can have ideas and put ourselves off of their own thinking? My understanding of the three principles were just just okay enough for me to ignore that kind of thoughts and go with an inspirational thought. Um, again, the power of resilience in the human spirit. So in a sense, you're sort of, uh, you're living proof of, of that in action for you in, in your world, which is you had a sense of the direction of travel and didn't believe those initial thoughts and look what you've produced as, as a result. I mean, that's, that's pretty inspiring to hear. Well, it's, um, it's, it's an implication of the understanding working through me. It really has nothing to do with me and everything to do with the understanding that once the logic of this is revealed, the spiritual wisdom of this is revealed, it does just move you. So it's a testament to the understanding operating through the personality of Rudy, but it's, it's not just me, it's, it's our innate human potential. That's great. Rudy, it's been an absolute delight speaking with you today. Thank you so much. It's my pleasure.